pumping, 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 pumping. How you doing today, dirty old wet soppy bills of here, eh? Well, oh, boys, I don't know if anybody else in the RC world here realizes. <sighs> I did not realize this. That the old Traxxas Slash has a front and rear drive shaft, eh? They're different. Because I couldn't figure out why the front wheels were a little wobbly. Well, put the rears in the fronts, I did. Why wouldn't I? All I had in the box was rears. So I went out and I got some shit I did. I got a few parts here I did. I got a couple of extra drive shafts I did. I got lower control arms Melly's car there in case, you know, she breaks one off. I got a couple more extra for mine. I've got a couple of extra rears, drive shafts, eh? Might as well. And I got three packs of uh, the old front drive shafts. So I'm gonna pull out the RC car there and put the proper drive shafts where they properly belong, I am. Freaking right, I am. Why the hell wouldn't I? Why in the hell wouldn't I, boys? Boys! So we're gonna need the car, okay? We're gonna need the car. We need this, we need that, we need this. I'm probably gonna need that too, okay? Drop them all over the place, I am. There we go. So, first thing we gotta do is whip the old tire off. The old RC here. Gotta pull the old tire, boys. This is how Bilsif changes a drive axle, it is. Freaking right it is. Oh, boys, I added to my duct tape too, I did. You know, I did the duct tape body, right? Like that. I added an extra flap here. So now it actually flaps right down onto the doodad. And I added some on here, I did, so it can't kick the snow up into, into the battery area. Yeah, but boys, the body's solid with the old red green edition on her, eh? Friggin' right it is. So how you wanna change these is, to do it the simplest way possible, boys, I pull that one. I don't know which ones I pull. Hold on a second, let's pull it and find out. I think I pull this one here. Give this a zing off, we will. Well, zingy dingy, the old wingy here. Oh boys, my center shaft's leaking something awful. The old Hubarooski. So we pull that off like that, and we pull this one off down here like this, like that, and I think we should be able to give her a swing ding. Just like that, boys, hey? That's it. <laughs> oh, please, I'm under, boys. So now what we gotta do is we gotta kick off this nut, like that, pop that out like that. I'm talking like a weirdo I am. Pop that out like that, hey? Why wouldn't I? And then we can slide her out like this, Jim. So there we go. See that? That's a rear axle, boys, in case you don't know, eh? Because the bearing's bigger at the back side on these ones. So now I gotta pull this out, and we gotta slip this one. See the differences, boys? Boys. Boys, here we go. See the differences? Big time. So we'll slide this one in here like this. Oh, boys, she's tighter already, she is. And we'll slide that back in here like this. And my daughter wanted to run these and I said, I can't right now, honey. I gotta get the right parts in it. She goes, I don't understand, dad. I'm like, well, I know you don't, honey. But, uh, you know, you gotta wait. You gotta wait, hon. Friggin' right you do. Gotta make sure it's so uh, solid. So we'll throw that back in here. Like this. If I can find the hole, Jim. Yeah. Where's the hole? So we'll zing this back in. Kinda, sorta, like this. There's one, boys. We'll flip her up like this, and we'll zing the other one in. If we can find the hole. Jim, where's the hole, Jim? Jim, give me like that. Like that. We'll tighten this one up, like that. You don't wanna go too tight, though, boys. You wanna make sure they still turn, eh? You wanna make sure they still turn, boys. We do. Freaking right we do. So we'll put the old washer ski back on. Then we'll put in the old drop pinage. Hey, the old drop pinage. Like that. Uh oh, boys. Gotta turn her. Gotta turn her, I do. Gravity's taking over, boys. Girls. Peoples. Why wouldn't it? Frig off and stay in there. Why would you stay in there? Frig off. What's really going on? Oh, there we go, boys. That's all there is to her, I think, eh? Hey? I think we got her, boys. We'll put the nut on like this. Maybe. Easy. Careful, gentle, boys. Easy, careful, gentle, boys. Oh, boys, that Loctite is tight. Boys, what's going on here? Why is that so goddamn tight? Are they different size nuttage? For God's sakes. Boys. 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 Oh, that's not bad. Let's try this out. This might be easier. Oh, yeah, it is. 
Oh yeah, hey. There we go. So see now, see how it's got, see how this one's got play? I don't know if you can see or not. See how this one's got play? Look how tight that one is now. Frick, I'm surprised I didn't see that. Normally I pay more attention, hey? But I guess I wasn't paying attention that day. But now I am, hey? Now I am, I am. Freaking right I am. So we'll do the same thing. We'll pop that off like that. We'll pop that out like this. We'll count to three and say, hey, how you doing? Hey? Count to three and say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good, you? Oh, boys, that center shaft is leaking some awful oil. I think she's almost time for a rebuild, the boys. Rebuild on the center gearages. I'll have to look and see what they're worth to have them on hand just in case we blow one out, boys. There's nothing worse than being out playing then you blow something up you can't fix right away. That just sucks bad, hey? Freaking right it does. You all know in the RC world what I'm talking about. Gotta have the parts to fix the problem, boys. Freaking right we do, don't we? So we'll pop that out. Oh, you know what, boys? This one's good. This one's got the right one on it, so I don't have to change it. Freaking right I don't. That's freaking decent. That one's got the original in her. No change, oh, oh original, eh? Hey? Ooh, boys, I must have hit something. That thing's all in there. Cock and crook eyed too. What's really going on? Oh no, she's bent, boys. I bet her I did. I'm gonna need one of them too, someday soon. Why the hell wouldn't I need one of them too? Frick. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't tell you much, but when I tell you, it sure is telling you, isn't it? Hey? That's why the other side felt good still, because it was still the original. I was like, okay, that didn't make that big of a difference. And then again, the old Bilsa here. Didn't realize that that's still the factory one it is. So no wonder why it feels pretty good. Oh God, boys. I really do need the tools that everybody's talking about. I hear you out there, don't worry. It's just, you know what? 30 some dollars for them bad boys. I'm just too goddamn cheap. Send me a, shoot me a link there in the description below if you see one's cheaper, hey, eh? The old RC toys or tools. Cause I don't, uh, I don't want to spend 30 bucks on them, boys. What I got here is working just fine. It's just a little bit more annoying, that's all. Nothing wrong with that, eh? I know you can't see me right now, and all you can see is my fingers going around in circles, but hey, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is, it is. It is what it is, it is. It is what it can be, it can be. Decent. So now we need my washer, El Wash Orange. Give her a little wipe off. She's a little on the dirty side, she is. Slide the old wash orange back on her, like so, like so. Put the little grubby in, like so. And then we put the little doodad on, like so. Doodad. The little doodad. Click. Hey, clicky. Slidey. Nutty. And we'll be done -y. Nutty. Tighten her up, boys. Drive her home, Jim. So there we go. She looks like she's trailing pretty good. So anyways, yeah. If anybody didn't know, that's the difference between front and rear drive shaft, boys, and the bearings, eh? So now I got two extra fronts, and I got another extra rear now, so that makes me, that brings me to like six extra drive shafts for the rear, and two for the front. Why oh, wouldn't it? Why the hell wouldn't it, Captain? You got a pile of drive shafts on you from the front. Rear. Rear, front, front, rear. Rear, front, front, rear, boys. Boys. Should take this thing out for a rip. I enjoy looking at it because it doesn't get broken. Just look at her. That way she doesn't get trash. She doesn't. But anyways, all I'm doing tonight now is I'm on the old Amazon here. And I'm just looking for, hey, okay, looking for something, boys. Something cheap. Well, there's a center diff housing for $2, boys. Holy, that's cheap. $2.20, boys. I'll take two of them. Hey, right? two of them. Do the shopping. Why wouldn't I? Oh, come on. Really? Really, boys? Center housing. How many houses does this thing have, boys? Boys. I'm a firm believer in all stock parts on these things, eh? I'm not. Say you go out and you buy yourself an aluminum steering knuckle. Then the, the knuckle mount is gonna break, so you buy aluminum knuckle mount, eh? Then the uh, lower control arm breaks constantly, so you buy an aluminum lower control arm, boys. Now everything's tough, so now the drive shafts break all the time. So then you gotta buy aluminum drive shafts. Well, you buy aluminum drive shafts, then you start taking out the center diffs. So then they start to break. So then you gotta buy aluminum center diffs. So then they break. So then you gotta buy the aluminum bulkheads to hold it. It just goes on and on, it does. So next thing you know, your car's worth 3,500 bucks, and it's still, instead of breaking now, it bends, eh? So, I've been in the RCs for a long time, boys. I ha really have. And I started out with the gassers I did, and then I went to the electrics. I'm a firm believer 
and sticking with a stock part so they break, okay? They're, they're supposed to break, boys. There's no way around it. Doesn't matter how much money you put into it and what aluminum parts you upgrade to, they're gonna break, okay? Everything's gonna break. So I say, screw it, and stay stock, I do. Friggin' right I do. And if you don't agree with me, hey, I get it. That's totally understandable. You have your own thoughts and minds and details and everything else, but Traxxas didn't spend thousands and thousands of dollars, boys, to, uh, to make something that's crap, eh? We designed them to break on purpose. So these companies that are making aluminum parts are just doing it to make more money from you, and you'll just keep on buying, Jim. My fucking coffee's cold already. Why wouldn't it be? But anyways, that's just my thoughts on RC. Stick stock and just have a supply, boys. Just have a supply of all the parts and you'll be good to go. And they're cheap. Add-ons right now are like $2 or something. You just gotta buy more than one, of course. You gotta make a $25 purchase. But you can get a lot of parts for 25 bucks, boys, if you luck. Just gotta keep on looking, you do. I'm a firm believer of looking. Just look at it. Just keep on looking and you'll find the deals. Anyways, you don't need to watch me do this and that and the other thing, so I'm just giving you my opinion. Take it, leave it, or tell me to go fuck myself. Why wouldn't you? But that's the way I think, and that's the way I do it. Friggin' right it is. Boys, they have a snowplow kit for the friggin' tracks. Just look at it. That's friggin' decent, but I'm not paying 157 friggin' dollars for it, so that's not decent. That went from decent to no. Thank you, but no thank you. I can make my own, boys, if I really wanted one. Why the hell would I want to plow with an RC car? When you going to plow? A couple inches of snow with that? Not even. A few centimeters, boys. And then you got to bring the big guns out any... Oh, boys. Anyways, I'll see if I can cobble screw this video together. And they have roof racks now. That's pretty cool. But anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do. And, uh, you know what to do for now. They bump and bump and...